Hi everyone, we're going to find the limit as x approaches uh, 0 of tan cubed of 2x divided by x cubed. And in order to do uh, this limit, we need to know the fact that the limit as x approaches 0 of our sine of x divided by x equals 1, because we're going to use that fact to help us on this. And the next thing we're going to do is write this in terms of we know tan is sine um, of x divided by cosine x, and that's what I'm going to do. So the limit as x approaches 0, and I'm just going to substitute this as sine cubed 2x divided by cosine cubed of 2x, and we still have this x cubed in the front here. So basically, this portion here was just this at the top. All right, and then we still have our uh, x cubed in front. Now, break. The, we're going to break this down in fraction form. So I'm just going to break this up. The limit as x approaches 0, I'm going to write um, sine cubed of 2x divided by x cubed and then um, multiply this by uh, 1 divided by cosine cubed 2x. So I just kind of broke it out. You can multiply it through and come back to the same here. Um, now what I want to do so I can um, make it look like um, sine of x divided by x, so we take the limit of this we get 1. I'm going to multiply through by 8. So multiply through by 8, this piece right in here, I'm going to get the limit as x approaches 0 of 8. Um, so I'm going to multiply uh, it through by the numerator and the denominator. And this would be 8x cubed. Instead of writing it like that, I'm going to write this as 2x, or it's going to be cosine, no, it's just 2x cubed, because that really gives us 8x cubed. I'm going to just write it like that. And then we still have our 1 divided by cosine cubed of 2x. Now we can take the limit. So all we're going to do is plug in 0, and what's that going to give you is this part since it resembles, let me do this in red, this part here resembles 1 because it has this form. So that's just going to be 8 times 1 times, and if you plug in 1 here, you're going to get another 1. Well, you plug in 0, um, you get cosine of 0 equals 1 and then so this would be 1 over 1 for this part so our final answer is 8 so little tricks in there alright thank you have a nice day bye bye